Um, welcome to um, this first experience, at least since I've been here, of many churches getting together to present a service and present the music. This has been uh, something that's been going on for a, oh, since last fall. Pepper talked to me and had an idea, and I told him, you got to wait a little bit because I need to talk to Mike. Mike, who's up there, he's in control of everything. If something's not loud enough, just throw a paper wad at him and he'll fix it. Um, and Mike and I came up with this, um, this idea of using one of Pepper Choplin's uh, fine cantatas, and he has many, and, and putting all the choirs together and inviting other choirs from the, the community to participate. Psalm 23 is extraordinary music and meaningful from beginning to the end. And you will never read Psalm 23 again the same way after you listen to this music. I get to introduce Pepper, but before I do, I'm going to ask if Dupree would be kind enough to offer uh, a prayer over the service. Let us prepare our hearts for this special time of worship. Let's pray together. Oh God, you are our good and great God. We love you, Lord. We know that you have put a song in our hearts. Lord, you have changed all things for us, and we are so grateful. And on this first day of Holy Week, Lord, as we focus on the meaning of this week, we are reminded afresh and anew of your love for us. And Lord, I pray for all who are here for this special time of worship. We are grateful for the musicians, for the time of preparation that has gone into this, for Pepper and his willingness to be here with us this afternoon. But Lord, everything that is done in this place is done because we love you and we stand amazed at your love for us. So be with us now in these moments of praise and worship, Lord. May your spirit move freely in this place. May we hear the gospel through music in a new and fresh way. And we pray, O oh God, that our lives might be changed, not just because we have been here for this particular time of worship, but because we have been brought into your presence and drawn close unto yourself. May it be so. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I want you first to know one thing about Pepper Choplin. Pepper is really his name. Okay? So you don't need to ask him that later. Okay? It really is. You may want to ask him other things, but not that. Um, I'd like to welcome Pepper Choplin to uh, Roxboro and in to be in direction of these choirs. He is well respected. You can look at the bio that's in your bulletin. You go, wow. Right now, what we'd like to ask for you to come forward and wow us with your music. I just broke your mic. That's okay. I have had a wonderful time in uh, my two days in Roxboro and have been welcomed to a great hospitality. The choir was so well prepared, enjoyed working with the instrumentals, and I really enjoyed the peanut butter lasagna at Brooklyn Eats last night. That was really, it's really good. In fact, I think it's still with me. Uh, you know, <laughs> this is, I, I did a cantata called Our Father based on the Lord's Prayer. And I said, if this works, I want to go on to Psalm 23 because people embrace this, uh, this body of scripture more than anything else in the Bible, and I think. And if you'll allow me, I would just like to take just a moment to walk you through this experience. You'll hear first, we are not alone, which does not quote the scripture, but it's, that's what it's all about. We as Christians who believe in a God, we are not alone, and you'll hear that phrase over and over and over again. We are not alone for God is with us. 
And I told the choir when I wrote this, I wasn't quite sure that was true. We are not alone. I needed to hear it. So you hear it repeated over and over and over again to try to seep into our consciousness. The Lord is my shepherd. Sometimes you just have to exclaim and proclaim that the Lord, nothing, there's a lot of things that we could follow, but the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. It's just a celebration of that. Restore my soul. Is anybody here that needs your soul restoring? That's a common thing in life when we feel depleted. Restore my soul. Uh, lead me on the paths of righteousness. Some of the words are when the world is complex and angry and evil forces are, are, um, evil forces are strong, lead me on your way. Let me experience your truth and your presence. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, uh, I come to this not as a theologian, but hoping to find the most obvious truth. And when we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, sometimes it's in a time of danger, Sometimes uh, it's a time of sickness. Other times it's when a loved one is lost and you'll hear those three themes going out. And there, in fact, when a loved one is lost, there's just, you'll hear just a silence, just to experience that. But through all of that, through a walk through the valley of the shadow of death, um, you are with me. Uh, you comfort me is something that a lot of people will need to hear. So I, again, used that uh, same technique. You'll hear you comfort me throughout that piece just over and over again. Maybe it, you need to absorb that as the choir uh, repeats it to you. Uh, my cup overflows after we've walked through the valley of the shadow of death and we've been comfort, comforted. This is a light release just to say thank you for all, all the ways that the blessings overflow in our lives. And then after we are not alone or uh, reprised of that, there's surely goodness and mercy and you'll hear the choir just kind of belt that out and kind of almost defiant sometimes. You have to surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And then at the end you'll hear this kind of swirling uh, ascension to heaven, uh, celebrating that a life that God is with us in this life and certainly beyond in our life in heaven.
not alone. For God is with us. We are his people, the sheep of the pasture. The Lord leads us and provides for us. The Lord is ever present in times of trouble, providing comfort through all our days. In this life and beyond, we may join the psalmist and say, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. 
A good and faithful shepherd will find a safe place for his sheep. He will provide a quiet pasture where his sheep can rest and be refreshed by cool water. Lord, you call us to lie down and rest from our labors. You lead us to be still and dwell in your peacefulness. Come and soothe our hearts and minds as you restore our souls.
He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me on the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Lord, you lead us on the paths of righteousness. In our changing world, the righteous path is sometimes complicated and obscured. Show us the true way, the way that follows your word and honors your name. Lead us on to justice. Lead us on to peace. Show us what is right and call us to follow your path. of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of 
the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for you are with me. We walk through the valley of the shadow of death in times of danger and persecution. There are times of great sickness when we face our own mortality. When we lose a loved one, we walk through the valley and feel death's shadow of grief and sorrow. Even in those days, and the, even in those dark and shadowed days, we will not fear. For we know that you are with us.
Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You bring us great comfort in times of sorrow. As your rod leads and directs us, we walk in the confidence of your direction. A shepherd uses his rod to gather and guide his sheep on the right path. A shepherd uses his rod to pull his sheep to safety and to rescue them from danger. So Lord, by your guidance on the path and your help in times of trouble, you give us comfort and confidence as we walk the road of faith.
Your rod and staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Certainly, our cup overflows, but not only in the times of peace and contentment. The psalmist says that the Lord prepares a table in the presence of our enemies, especially in the presence of our enemies. Through the times of struggle, the Lord prepares us a table of blessings. These blessings are continuously poured over us as our cup overflows.
God is ever present of his pasture through every part of our lives, through every stage, God is with us, even beyond our days on this earth. With great confidence, we can join the psalmist and say, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever.
There's not going to be a curtain call, so sit down. <laughs> I, told, I told Pepper before we began the service that the most important thing in a service when you're doing music is if you could move people to silence. And at the end of that song, I think you did it. So thank you for your open hearts and your open spirits. I was going to tell them to sit down, but they did that on their own. <laughs> so, I, this is the part where it's a commercial announcement. So are you ready? Okay, good. Because if you are willing to give to the offering, I'm going to tell you, only for today. You will not get just one blessing, you will get two. Okay? I mean, that's what they do on television. It should work in church, shouldn't it? Okay? I don't know where, I, it's not going to be me. Are you going to give him a blessing? Yeah, okay, he said he would. I'll do one if he does. Now, uh, all, all silliness aside, these things don't, don't just happen. It, it, it takes a little support from you. And so here's the deal. If you're going to write a check, if you would kindly memo it, Psalm 23. And that way we'll know it goes to this program to help, you know, pay these people who I know, but not so well that they do this for free. Okay. And, and so help us out with that if you can. And we're going to mention one other thing. Pepper's got some CDs back there. And they're cheap today, right? Yes. Get this. They're $10 each. Or you can get three for 30. <laughs> that, that works on TV too, I think. Okay. Three for 30. All right. Oh, um, oh you can make out the check uh, just to Roxborough Baptist. They're going to get it. We're, we'll end up squaring it all up. Uh, I, I talked to Dupree and he promised he'd, you know, make sure we get our part of it. <laughs> for what we paid for it and what have you. Just make it out to Roxborough Baptist. It'll be all right. Got it, Ed? <laughs> all right. So before we go any further, uh, the, um, the CDs will be in the back. And I'd like to have the ushers come forward. I'd like to say a prayer over the, uh, over the offering. So if you come on forward, gentlemen, if you would, ladies and gentlemen, if there's more than one. Don't, don't, don't collect any money yet. We won't pray over it first. And since I'm a Methodist, we're going to do this the Methodist way. Are you ready? I'm going to say, the Lord be with you. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, we do ask your blessing, not only on the service that we've had, and that it might bless us as we go home and go to our own, our, and all of the things that we are tried by. But Lord, we ask a blessing on this offering, that it might go forward, that it might be used for other things that would enable our spirits, our hearts, our commitment to you. And Lord, we ask this in your name as we pray and we all say, amen.
I'd like to add, ask uh, Reverend Priestaff if he would come forward to offer a closing benediction to the service. I want to mention one other thing, that it was not by my choice that I got to do all this announcing, but it was called Mike Moose told me I had to. Let us pray. Gracious God, what a blessing. You have cut through all of the clutter of our lives and struck deep within our hearts. God, we pray that the words of these songs inspired by your Holy Spirit and the, the melodies and the harmonies and, and all that we take with us will stay with us for it comes not just from a brilliant composer, who we give you thanks for, but it's the very moving of your Holy Spirit, the same spirit that moved over the waters, the same spirit that composed the glorious in excelsis deos, the same spirit that has uh, enabled and enlivened this choir and these uh, uh, orchestra accompanists and to give of themselves. And we're so grateful because at this moment, at this moment, the world is more beautiful than it was an hour or two ago. We thank you. And it is with deep gratitude and with appreciation for those who have gathered here today around us that we go forth from this place with your peace, which passes all understanding. Amen and amen. Thank you.